the... All right. It's AJ's corner. No, no, not Jamie's corner. AJ's corner. And uh, yeah, I mean, it's not as good because, of course, Jamie, you know, she's like extremely smart. And beautiful and funny and, and I'm none of those things so <laughs> uh, but you're gonna have to put up with me it's me in a corner yet again and this time I'm reacting to something else uh, uh, to a uh, RV reasonable vegan this this video is from a while ago and he uh, he did this uh, conversation with uh, a friend of mine you might know her as Revolta269 I know her as the best person ever, but you know, uh, she's my awesome friend. And uh, yeah, she went to uh, pay a visit to this uh, reasonable vegan on his channel. And uh, yeah, they, talk, they talked about the uh, welfareism versus abolition mostly. And I'm guessing this, uh, this six minute uh, extra from the uh, from that conversation is it's got to do something with cow legs as the uh, video says it says something like should vegans fight for cow legs I don't know I mean the title makes it seem like we want to eat cow legs so I don't know <laughs> so I'm gonna vote no but let's see what it, this is about and let's see let's see what they say and uh, let's see how long it takes me to <laughs> to disagree with Carson. <laughs> Uh, and of course, I agree with my awesome friend, uh, Revolta. Well, let's let's begin. That's fair. Okay, let's try a thing that I had never thought of until what you just said. Um, what if we reverse it? So right now, we probably have... Um, I don't know if there's official regulations, but there's probably things that are legally frowned upon. Like if a farmer figured out a way to cut off the legs of cows and basically just um, cut their legs off, heal them up, like so, like cauterize their wounds, but then just have them sitting on a shelf. And the cow is alive, and it feels miserable because it's not walking around, and they're just uh, like pumping stuff into it that fattens it up. And then they're gonna slaughter them, and then everything's the same except they're cutting their legs off, and they're gonna be so much more miserable than they already are. So if, if instead of looking at the changes that can be made to make their welfare better until we can have a vegan future. Just imagine um, if we had steps in the way that we don't have now. So if this were the case and you could fight for veganism, but also try to convince people to put a law in place saying you can't cut off their legs and have them sitting on a shelf, wouldn't that be good to try to get that law to make it to where farmers at least have to let cows have legs and walk around? All right, I don't know what my friend's going to say, but I will say the following. I mean, this welfareism thing is not really, it's not really good because the, the thing that's wrong here is that cows are being farmed. That's, that's the evil that we're doing in the first place. So the, the first evil, so to speak, is that we breed these animals into existence for nothing already. So anything we do to them from that point on it's wrong. It doesn't matter what it is. It's still wrong and it shouldn't even exist. So to me, it's like, you know what? No, I would not try to, to make this a, a law thing. I would try to, to liberate them altogether because they shouldn't even be there in, in a farm or, or a slaughterhouse or, or anything like that. So, no, I mean, contrary to popular belief, cows do not graduate in the bovine university so uh, let, let's see what my friend says about this i mean uh it would be definitely less bad for the cow uh, mm -hmm. to still have the legs but i wouldn't uh fight for it i would fight for total liberation exactly exactly you see that, that's the right answer right there eh? she's so freaking awesome eh, man alive Okay, let's see what what Carson says about this. Because what? still, if still if we don't cut off the the legs of the cow, we are still using the cow somehow. We are still uh, taking profit of it. Uh, uh, we are still seeing the animal as property, and this is not okay. Exactly. You see that that 
amazingly well, well put really what can i say i couldn't have said it any better okay so yeah what if it was humans then what if it was humans what yeah what if it was humans what <laughs> i love reacting to stuff i go crazy and uh yeah you know no if it was humans the same thing would apply or you know what I don't know, I'm kind of a misanthropist. So if it was humans, I'd be like, yeah, I cut off their legs, whatever. What ifs? But what if humans, what, what if we still had slavery and, <laughs> mm -hmm. and people started cutting off the slave legs? I don't <laughs> see any benefit for that. Uh, maybe these slaves are going to eat, so they want their legs cut off and they put them on a shelf. <laughs> Funny. Slavery. Cut off their legs. <laughs> Hilarious stuff. Not. You you wouldn't fight for having their, like making it illegal to cut their legs off in the meantime and until we can free slaves. Uh no. <laughs> <laughs> ah, that's why she's awesome. You see, she wants to liberate people and and non-human people and uh, you know what, everyone, everyone from from the uh, from the cow to the iguana, everyone deserves to be freaking happy. So that's it. Happy and free. I would fight for their liberation uh, as much as I can. And... <laughs> yeah, look at Carson. <laughs> He's losing it. He he wants to, you know, pull his hair out, but he doesn't have any. <laughs> That's what all of these vegan activists and all of uh, vegans are not high, high profile uh, activists are doing. We are fighting for total animal liberation because we need to it's not that we need to make the conditions of the animals better is that we need to change our mindset and not even exactly. consider uh grabbing these animals and taking uh, take advantage of them okay well what if exactly man i like my friend is so freaking smart it's like i don't know 800 iq points i don't even know if, if that's a lot because <laughs> my iq is like I don't know, then in double digits, but she's freaking awesome. You could put brains into these um, these animals to make them be able to talk. And we ask them, we want to let every cow on every farm get to vote. Do you want vegans to um, vote for changes and and advocate for changes to make it illegal to cut our legs off and let's say 99 percent of the cows said yes please vegans vote to not have my legs cut off would you stand against these cows and say no my moral position to focus on total liberation matters more than you individuals i'm doing this for the future of cows in the world the future but you current living cows uh, I'm not going to fight for your legs to be um, not cut off. Okay, no, this is a this is a tactic that he's using here to to actually divert from the actual issue because he's like, oh no, what if the cow said, hey, I'm currently here and I don't have any legs, oh, fight for my legs, and like that's not the thing. I mean, the cows are going to want to be free. They're not going to want to be like, oh no, no, the, you know. They, they, they want to be free, Carson. They want to be free, and you know it. There's no way 99% of cows are going to say, yeah, fight for my legs in the meantime, because there's no meantime. What they are going through is completely unjust. So it's like, no, if it, if it was me and I were in prison, I would be like, get me out of here. I mean, obviously, if, we, if I was falsely in prison, of course, uh, I would be like, you know, get me out of this thing, this thing you know, uh, not really, I would not be really worried about my conditions because the condition that I'm in prison is already the thing that shouldn't be happening in the first place. And I think the cows are smart enough to also realize this. I think if uh, animals were able to like communicate with us, mm -hmm. they will probably uh, form like a syndicate in their own farm and just uh, get out of there or something. But I I don't think that the idea of making the conditions better uh, will help the the animal somehow. I mean we're we're making them lives uh, let's say a little comfortable or mm -hmm. less bad 
if that's even possible to to have in a farm. But again, we are taking advantage of them. We shouldn't. Exactly. That's the thing that's wrong. The, the first evil. You, no, you're right. It, it's hard to imagine how it can be possible to make lives more or less bad. Like, I would hate to be a slave, to be in a cow's position. Um, I, I might even prefer death to it. But if I'm forced to be alive and I have no freedoms and I'm stuck in this area, and instead of eating what I'm naturally supposed to eat, I'm force fed soy meal and co corn meal and whatever, and I'm being pumped full of hormones or whatever. If I experience this life and I had the option to either have my legs cut off or not cut off, I want my fucking legs. Yeah, but for what? Where would you go? You're in prison. What legs? They can't move anywhere, anyway. They can't. I mean, some of them escape, I guess, with like a really tiny percentage. And of those who escape, they get shot down in the, you know, uh, on the street or whatever. Like they or return to the freaking hellish farm they came from. <laughs> and I would want the people that could could advocate, not just say these ba baby steps are good, but we also want more to advocate for a law to make them not cut my legs off. And also at the same time, advocate for total liberation. I advocate for um, things involving abortion and circumcision and legalizing drugs and animal stuff. I can advocate for a lot of things at once. But if it's coming down to when I talk to people on the street, I want to talk to as many as I can about veganism and full on total liberation. But also I can spend some time um, signing petitions or when um, it's time to vote, vote to not cut legs off. I can do all of it. Now we have to figure out how to divide our time, of course, but we also have to figure out what's going to be the overall best thing for the animals. Like if, if sacrificing fighting for total liberation, um, for 10 minutes uh -huh. a day to fo no, 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 no. The best thing for the animals is total liberation, bro. And that's the best thing for them is that we fight for their liberation, not for their comfort levels, you know, ah, bloody hell. Ah. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Man, uh, Good thing I didn't make this a challenge because I would have lost it at like five seconds. Focus on individual issues like ending fur or ending SeaWorld. Um, if, if, if you truly are convinced that sacrificing that whatever amount of time to not work on both will be harmful, then I guess you got to go with it. But if you imagine yourself being on a farm and you are the cow and your legs are removed... Now, I don't want to put human ideas on the animals. Maybe cows don't like their legs as much as I do. But I, I want people to fight for my legs. Oh, bloody hell. Yeah, but your legs won't be of any use anyway because you're in a farm. And since you're saying that you're not going to get out of there anyway because this future, this thing will come in the future when you will be not even alive, what's the point? Of having legs if you're still a prisoner so doesn't even matter so you know uh this is it i totally agree agree with my friend and i don't agree with carson here <laughs> well that's not a not a surprise i guess but yeah that's it this has been my reaction and uh thank you for tuning in to another aj's corner reaction whatever i don't know Maybe I'll make this a series. Uh, yeah, I haven't started, in case you didn't notice, I haven't started my uh, sensitivity training yet. <laughs> uh, if you've seen my uh, latest Dear AJ video, you, you'll know what I'm talking about. Well, in the meantime, stop hurting animals, start turning veganese, and don't fight for cow legs, fight for their total liberation. Goodbye, oh. Goodbye, oh, what, what the hell? Okay, cut. AJ, out! I'm gonna live forever! <laughs>